Welcome to the world of starfish and the great ocean of big data. Big data is now the main driving force for enterprises to innovate by gaining deeper insights about their customers, their partners, and their business. For this purpose, enterprises across the world are now collecting massive and rapidly growing amounts of data of any type or form. For example, Facebook is collecting 70 terabytes of data per day of user clicks, wall posts, images, and videos. Walmart's data collection of products and purchases is now 2.5 petabytes in size, the equivalent of 167 times the size of books in America's Library of Congress. The number of companies that want to take advantage of big data is growing fast. With big data, web and social media companies can offer personalized content and targeted advertisements. Retail companies can do behavior analysis and offer recommendations. Financial organizations can detect and prevent fraud. Healthcare providers can apply predictive modeling to diagnose patients. And the list goes on and on. Bottom line is, understanding and analyzing big data means big profit to any business. The big data market is still at a very young age. It is estimated to be a 5 billion industry today and will quickly grow to a 50 billion industry within the next five years. The big data revolution began in 2005-2006 at Google and Yahoo with the invention of Hadoop, which has evolved rapidly to become the leading platform for storing, processing, and analyzing big data. Hadoop is a scalable, fault-tolerant, flexible, and open-source distributed software system that is now synonymous to big data analytics. In fact, it is estimated that by 2015, more than half the world's data will be processed by Hadoop. However, despite its effectiveness in processing big data, Hadoop comes at a high cost because it relies heavily on the user to manually configure and tune the workloads as well as the cluster resources. To make matters worse, it is estimated that there will be a 150,000 skilled labor shortage in the area of big data in the next five years. Now, let us get a better understanding of the problems Hadoop users are facing. Meet Bob, a skill system administrator. Bob is new to Hadoop and wants to use Hadoop to manage the big data in his company, but he's facing many challenging problems. Bob needs to figure out how many machines to buy, what type of machines to buy, how to configure the system, how to deal with failures, and how to tune the system and workloads in order to meet the company's requirements and needs on big data analytics. Bob was drowning with all these problems until it found Starfish. Starfish can help Bob eliminate all these problems in an automated way. Simply put, the core mission of Starfish is to reduce the operational expenses of the Hadoop system by providing intelligent, predictive, and automated management for the Hadoop platform. Starfish offers big features for managing big data. Starfish has the unique ability to predict how well a Hadoop workload will execute on a given cluster, as well as suggest the appropriate number of nodes and node types to use in order to meet desired performance objectives at an optimal cost. Starfish collects very detailed information on various cluster and workload granularities that help with understanding the workload behavior, identifying execution bottlenecks, and automatically diagnosing problems. Finally, Starfish can determine good configurations to use with regards to workload optimization, scheduling, and data layouts. Let's go back to Bob. After using Starfish, Bob was able to provision a Hadoop cluster successfully, and the cluster is now ready for use. Along comes Sally, a data scientist also new to Hadoop, who has prepared a workload to execute on the new Hadoop cluster. However, Sally is not satisfied with the current performance of the jobs in the workload. Sally can also use Starfish to understand the workload behavior and quickly tune the performance of the workload. With its novel monitoring utilities and capabilities, Starfish collects fine-grained monitoring information that can be used to visualize the execution of Hadoop jobs. A Hadoop job, also known as a MapReduce job, is executed on a Hadoop cluster as a set of parallel map and reduce tasks. The timeline view from Starfish allows Sally to visualize 
where and how each map and reduce tasks run, as well as to quickly identify any computational skew in the job. Similarly, Sally can quickly identify any data skew from the data skew view. Starfish can generate multiple histograms from the data as they were flowing through the various map and reduce tasks in the job. This will allow Sally to take appropriate actions in the presence of SKU. Sally can also focus on the network transfers across the nodes in the Hadoop cluster. The data flow view visualizes the data movements within the cluster. Moreover, Starfish's play functionality allows Sally to understand how the data got processed and transferred over time while the job was running on the cluster. Sally can zoom in further into the execution of individual map and reduce tasks and see the breakdown of task execution. In this particular case, most of the time in the map task is spent in the so-called spill phase, which means that Sally should focus her attention here if she wants performance improvements instead of any of the other map phases. Finally, with a click of a button, Sally can automatically optimize this particular map reduce job and get the optimal configuration settings to use without having to know or understand what these configuration settings mean. Overall, Starfish embraces and extends the Hadoop platform by adding capabilities that eliminate or reduce many of the typical operational costs of operating a Hadoop cluster. Through automation with Starfish, the company will need fewer expert administrators and data scientists, as well as fewer hardware resources. Therefore, companies can focus on their big data analytics rather than hiring and maintaining a large IT staff to manually manipulate the many configuration and tuning knobs within Hadoop. With more efficient and cost-effective big data analytics, enterprises can really capitalize on their big data and significantly increase their business value and revenues. Starfish's patent-pending core technology is the product of over two years of deep research and development from Duke's database group. The Duke database group has extensive experience in database manageability and has been applying this expertise to manageability problems on big data and Hadoop. The team currently has a working system in place that is ready to enter a beta testing phase immediately. The team consists of three Duke graduate students and three advisory board members. Herodotus Herodotu is a senior PhD candidate in computer science, and his work focuses on manageability and automated tuning of data-intensive computing systems. GLE is also a PhD student in computer science with a focus on big data analytics. Juan Wang attends the Master of Engineering Management program and complements the team's skill sets with her business management experience. Shivnath Babu is currently an assistant professor of computer science at Duke and has an extensive research experience in the areas of automated management and cloud computing. Scott Wingo is a serial entrepreneur as well as the chief executive officer and founder of Channel Advisor. Finally, David Hexel is a principal enterprise architect with Oracle Corporation, specializing in customers achieving success with their data integration, data quality, and big data initiatives. Thank you for watching this video, brought to you by the Starfish team.